Hey guys, J the Great Fifty Two here. Um, so this is gonna be a, a different type video. Um, like this, I it's it's not a gaming video, even though there's probably Horizon Zero Dawn playing right now. But anyway, so here's the deal. As y'all know, or well, some of y'all know, I am in college, and so. Um, I'm not going to say the college I go to or anything, um, but quarantine is a thing that's going on right now, currently, and a lot of people seem, it seems like, to forget about college students, and I, I just got done with my finals, and I mean, as a, as a college student, I feel like I can say a little something about it, um, so... Quarantine, yeah, it sucks. It does. And yes, people are losing their jobs and things like that. But I don't think people really understand how quarantine has affected college kids specifically. Because not only, like for example, at my school, they kicked everyone out the dorms, basically. Um, which, that in and of itself is going to screw up. A lot of what you were doing, if you're doing coursework, or for example, if you're a music ed music education major or something like that, and you require to your like you need to be around someone that understands music, it's it's a problem. Um, I've had plenty of friends that are like, "Yo, quarantine as a music major is absolutely trash," and it really messes up your flow for like just school in general but besides that um you can't really talk i don't know what it is about some of the at least my teachers but it's almost like they saw quarantine and they're like okay so my job just got 10 times easier because fun fact college professors very rarely care i mean of course there are plenty of great college professors um, out there that will help and we, my school does have those um, though I don't have those <laughs> I have a few that are really good teachers but at the moment I'm not really so fun fact I am a biomedical science major um, which means I spend a lot of time around science classes um, I don't know if you've tried doing a science class online. It's not fun, not fun at all. And so one of the requirements that I have is I have to take physics. So if you've ever taken physics at all, ever, you know that it's, it's a shit show. Um, trying to teach myself physics online was some it was it it was easy but at the same time it wasn't because you can understand it but then there's an extra level of physics that you have to go into where like you have to integrate everything in a certain manner in order to get a correct answer and usually the homework is not going to have those questions or things such as that but anyway not fun um terrible but one thing I've noticed about the teachers, besides the fact that they're just like, yo, <laughs> my job got easier. Um, I, I also realize I'm rambling. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Um, online class, like online meetings. Like, you know, some people are using Zoom. My school is not using Zoom. For whatever reason, we're using Microsoft Teams, but that, really doesn't matter so for example during this semester my classes were I had an 8 a.m. a 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. like right after one, one another so once quarantine hit one teacher kept the online classes at 8, 8 a.m. which is fine that's when the class was anyway so that makes sense I don't understand how that man can wake up at 8 a.m. and still 
function every day, but you know what? He does it. He's an early riser. Good for him. Um, but my 9 a.m. teacher decided, oh, I don't have to wake up at 9 a.m. anymore. I can move the class to whenever I want to. So he moved the class to 12, which is a slight problem. If my um, 11 a.m. teacher, I think it's an 11 a.m., not a 10 a.m., uh, my, my 11 a.m. teacher actually did online class meetings, online lectures. That's not what happened. What happened was the teacher said, hey, here are the notes with my voice going over it. Have fun. Well, originally it was, here are the notes, have fun. And then later on, I guess some people were like, yo, can we get a voiceover or something? And he was finally like, yo, here's, here's the stuff. Here's literally all the stuff with the voiceover. There were like at least 60 slides each with uh, voiceovers. And he said, have fun, teach yourself, which is kind of difficult. Just saying, um, I mean, each class, his class was weird anyway, but like, it was still like, you know, I can write down my stuff, which I still can even with online, but it was, it's a different state when you're at home and when you're in the class being taught. But that teacher said, I'm not teaching anything. <laughs> Basically is what happened. He just said, I'm done. I'm not going to teach y'all nothing. Enjoy. And, um, that, that really sucked. So, so we've got one teacher that just completely moved their class time and another one that just said, that's not my problem. So great, great off with a great start. Um, by the way, labs at home and online are stupid. Like, literally make no sense whatsoever. Okay, so I ended up having, like, you know, it was like towards mid, the middle of the semester when quarantine hit, like, really actually hit, and I had um, two exams for two different classes. One for the class that was that from the teacher that decided, hey, I'm gonna just make classes at 12 o'clock. And one from the teacher that was like, yo, teach yourself. Well, for whatever reason, the teacher that was like, yo, you're on your own, decided that the way he would do the exams would be put them in a Word document and you email them, email it to him. Well, he would post it at a certain time. The time in this scenario was um, I want to say 11, it was 11 and you had to turn it in at like 1230 or something like that. Well, the teacher, my other teacher decided, Hey, I'm going to give you an exam at 1030. You got until 12 to do it. He randomly decided to change the exam time and he, well, not 1230, I think it was more like I want to say either 10.30 to 11.30. Either way, the exam times were overlapped and then I had the class at 12. So you can see my problem here. I had to choose one or the other. Well, I decided to do the second teacher's um, exam, the one that started first. And afterwards I was like, I emailed the other teacher and I said, hey, like it overlapped and his response was you should have told me first my exam I told you about my exam first which is not like I get your teacher whatever got it but that's not the answer you should give to a student that literally had a problem he was literally like oh well my bad. Well, not even my bad. It was just like, that seems like your problem. It's not my problem. 
Um, so this class, the one that I missed an exam for, only has four grades in it, and they're all exams. That means that I just took a zero on an exam. That is one fourth of my grade. Now, granted, I took, the, I've taken the final exam for that class. I don't expect to pass um, because the first one we took, everyone got F's and he was like, yeah, that's usually what happens. It's because the first exam involves stuff that from a different class that you probably haven't taken yet, which was organic chemistry, which I have not taken yet. So I'm sitting at two F's, a B, because I got a B on the second exam, and probably an A on the final exam. And I, it's going to, that's going to drop my GPA down, obviously. Uh, Cause I don't, you, you can't get an, you can't get a not an F out of that. There's no way. Um, so now I have to deal with that. Um, I I myself am on scholarship. That gets in the way. That brings down. That's going to bring down my GPA. I'll lose scholarship. That's just what it is. I will have to take the class again. That's a thousand dollars. Don't know where the heck I'm gonna get a thousand dollars. But it's that's what is going on right now. Um, did good in the rest of my classes except for the physics one, um, simply because there were like he, like for example, there was a question that asked two different parts, not two different parts, had two different questions on it. And so I was like, I don't know which one you want me to answer. And he's done this before, where he's like, yeah. Uh, my bad, uh, your answer was right, so I've got to fix that. But this, I, I say this because the teachers, at least my teachers during quarantine, seem to have just been like, oh, <laughs> this is no longer, like this just made my job easier because college teach college professors supposedly don't care anyway. Like. They're like, yo, I'm being paid. I don't care if you show up. I don't care if you pass. Because I'm you've already paid me. Now with the quarantine, they've got even more reason to just not do anything. And I don't think that's right. And there's plenty of other people that are going through the same thing that I'm doing, going through, with just it's not the same as being in the class. Like you would think that like it's it's changed so much like uh my physics class um the way we did exams was we had two parts to the exam we had a um we had a in class and an online portion so it was two different grades that he would average out together and that would be your exam grade well with quarantine he completely removed that um in class portion so now all we're left is with an online um, exam worth like 70 points so that's like maybe 10 15 questions and usually if you've taken physics the way that they'll do it is uh, or really any math type class because physics is basically a math class it's a science class but it acts like a math class um, Basically, you would get like, they would take a look at your work and they would give you partial credit on something. That's what he would do. Well, you can't do partial credit online. It's you got it or you don't. Because there's so many different, and not to mention with Canvas, because that's what we're using is Canvas. Uh, you can't do certain uh, roundings like you you need to get the exact number and when you're doing math part of what you do or physics in general is, is part of what you do is very dependent on the teacher is how much you round and a lot of the times they won't be like hey round to like 
this many or this many because usually that's what they have to do well sometimes they'll they'll clarify it but with canvas nah nah doesn't care i thought they care so yeah i just feel like teachers really just said well looks like a break for me none of my business uh y'all fend for yourselves and not to mention that college students weren't allowed to get the uh the check you know that big trump check yeah we didn't get that for some reason even though you know a lot of us are probably in debt however they did say that they were gonna give out an emergency grant but i yet to hear literally anything about that so i don't even think that's a thing they really like really college kids got the ass end of the steak i don't think that's the, i don't think that's the right analogy but really just got screwed over with quarantine and i think a lot of people forget that college students exist because usually it's like you got the kids we got the elderly and then we got you know working class people which they're all important but you still have college students and for whatever reason teachers are like screw them and the college is like yo i already got my money like we, they've already paid why do i care which is what happened they kicked everyone out for the most part if you like so the way my school did it was they kicked everyone out around april 12th i think that's not the end of the semester the end of the semester is like may 16th they said get out or pay money to stay there pay more money to stay there um which obviously not a lot of people can do for example i have i have friends that are like living together now because they just don't have the money to be living in the dorms like they're living on the couch or on the bed one of one of my friends is there they're together so i guess that works but are living on the couch because they don't have the money to pay for the dorms and they're getting kicked out really i mean the cafeteria on campus is still open kind of i guess not really but even for like people that are that live off campus it's still a financial strain because like usually where we would go on campus to get our food you know with our plans or whatever you kind of can't anymore because now you're like dude i'm supposed to be staying inside i can't be going out like i have to actually go get actual groceries which i do anyway but I'm speaking in general and I, I just want people to realize that although yes we are technically kind of kids we still exist you know we're that we, we're, we're technically the future I'm not saying you know put a hundred percent focus on us but put a little bit more than eight give us 10 like just notice us because from what i've heard from a lot of my friends and a lot of college students in general quarantine has been the worst for them it it's just it just sucks like if you have something that requires you like i like, I, I i have lessons okay that require me to play my instrument in a meeting and I'm like a online call I can't do that if I'm well I can do that if I'm at home but unfortunately my house is really small um, it's a three bed three bath for six people 
that don't really work out as really well. And especially with the one teacher that just said, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm not doing, I'm not gonna do anything really. I think that's a problem. That is most definitely a problem. And this is just a little rant video I wanted to make. I probably sound conceited and stupid, to be honest. Um, like, I probably, probably sound stupid. Probably I get some comments saying, you know, you're just a privileged little piece of shit or something like that. But like, that's just what I'm dealing with. I'm not even gonna get into like the mental toll it's taking on people because that's more, it's more different for everybody, but college students definitely are part of that big group of people that are losing their fucking minds. Um, so, yeah, I just made this video as a little rant. Um, if you guys like this type of video where I just talk something, I guess like it. Um, comment, subscribe. I know I sound really tired, and I, cause it's cause I am. Um, today was a, a shitty day, really. Just letting everything sink in. So um, now I've got to figure out how to pull out a thousand dollars out of my ass for summer classes so that I can keep my GPA and I can go back to school fall semester which if I work I'll be fine which I plan on working but with the other class that would be another thousand so that's two thousand dollars and I was kind of hoping that the emergency check would come in because like the max is three thousand so I was hoping at least I get something. But anyway, that's it. Um, if you like this video, like it. If you want to share it, go ahead and share it. If you have your own comments, comment. Um, subscribe if you want to. I don't always do these videos. I play video games poorly. Um, hit the bell notification so I don't follow a schedule. And I'll see you guys in the next video.